If he does want to all out, of course, we can just fan club and it's going to be an easy, easy defend. Uh, but it looks like, oh, okay, yeah, here comes the all out. <laughs> Yo, what is up guys, Botrix here, back with a brand new video, and today guys, we're gonna be playing some Ceramic Crucible, so let's hop right into it. I have not uploaded in about a week, I do apologize guys, but I'm hoping to get back on the grind of YouTube here very, very soon. Uh, the semester for my second year of college is almost done, the first semester that is. Uh, so after that, I will definitely be grinding streams, uploads, all of that jazz, so definitely make sure to stay on alert for that. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and have post notifications turned on. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna sit back, relax in, chill while playing some Ceramic Crucible today. I know it's not BFB or Moab Pit or anything like that, but it does suck when I do play those arenas because I still have really, really shitty powers because I don't have the greatest tiers. Uh, but I have been grinding here and there for a little bit as much as possible uh, because I need to get better tiers for these powers, definitely. So our first opponent we got is Rafa. Baina, I guess that's how you say it. Doesn't look the greatest, of course. Uh, he ended up skipping them out, I think, Mound Pass. And then we just skipped that map. I couldn't remember what it is, though. Battle Sands, though. Yes, we're going to be going Dart Wizard Farm, which this is a pretty good strat. And I swear it, too. Sometimes when I'm playing, I forget that powers are a thing. And I end up rushing the guy mid-game. And then he just easily defends it, which is sliding down the glues. I swear. Everybody uses the glues. I swear. I mean, I have seen here and there people use the spike storm power which is pretty good as well uh but for the most part it's the glue definitely uh but we're gonna be starting off with the farm of course and yeah this guy has the glues as well but he does not know how to use it you don't want to be using it like he just did uh because then i could just send him grouped reds and just get rid of that bad boy really really easily he probably thinks he can like greet a little bit uh, but it looks like actually he has the tack, just a tack on his side. So he's going to be going with the tack shooter. Uh, so we're going to try to force an upgrade on him or at least make him use his other glues, which that would be pretty cool. So let me send some space blues behind this uh, to force an upgrade on his side, which he immediately upgrades to the 1 3, I believe that is, because it does not have the fast shooting on it. So that is really, really good for us uh, because he's going to be lacking on those farms, definitely. Uh, but it looks like he's going to be sending us some space blues as well. Uh, I could greet this. Um, no, I'm okay. I'm not going to greet it. I thought about greeting it for a second, but I would leak a lot of lives, like a lot of unnecessary lives out of that. So I don't think it was worth it. Uh, we're going to send him some space pinks, though, uh, just to force the faster shooting upgrade on his side, which he has. That is good for us. So we're going to be getting up another triple dart monkey if he does send us some space pinks, but looks like he's not. Nope, never mind. He is going to. So I'm just going to get up the zero one one for now. Uh, and I'm going to try to greed here for my farm. If I have to, I will set down a uh, glue splat, I guess. But I don't like to use them with space pinks uh, because they're a lot more effective when you use them mid game. Uh, but yeah, I'm just I'm just going to greed this. I don't even care if I leak down to like 50, 40 lives. It does not matter. Oh my God. Give me fucking bananas, banana farms. Jesus Christ. All right, so we're going to leak down to like 30 some lives, whatever. It's all good in the hood. I want him to feel like he has an advantage anyway. So we're definitely going to be sending this man uh, some space blacks. And I used to have actually like the regular balloon boost, I do believe. Uh, oh my God. Okay, this guy is like really trying to kill me right now. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're going to use the glue right here. Jesus. Holy shit. Rafa. Oh my God, Rafa. Really trying to kill us right here, buddy. Jesus Christ. So we're just going to chill with this, I guess. Um, <laughs> it looks like I'm at a disadvantage, but I promise, guys, we're fine, okay? We are a freaking okay. And it looks like he's still not going to fucking upgrade. Oh my God. Dude, upgrade. Okay, there he goes with the engineer. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Engineer. Did not mean to send that, by the way. I'm going to get up another triple dart monkey just to, to ensure that we can defend against that. Uh, but it looks like, yeah, he's going to be sending us some more space blacks. Uh, but I think we should be good. Uh, he probably will layer some yellows behind this. But I'm going to get up a 0-2 right here uh, just to stick on the safe side. And let's also get up our spike -a -pult. I'm just going to get this now. Stick on the safe side, like I said. Uh, we are out farming him and everything like that. So that's a really, really good thing. Uh, but, oh, damn it. Okay, he's catching up a little bit in farms, not going to lie. I could probably sell one of our triple darts, but I'm just scared with the region white city sending us right now, actually, and also of the AI. So I'm going to get up another triple dart to ensure that we can defend against this, and we are able to, which is a good thing. So we're definitely going to be sending him um, a lead on his side, of course. We're going to sell one of our triple dart monkeys, and he looks, looks like he's going to be sending us a couple of yellows on our side. I accidentally upgraded to 0-2, but that's still fine. I'm fine with that. 
and we're gonna set this strong and we're gonna be able to defend against those with ease so that's a good good thing uh he has really really weak camo pop and power on his side currently so we're probably going to be sending him quite a big camo rush um on this next upcoming round yeah we're just going to send a lot of camo whites and then pinks over top to see what he does uh because he only has those glue foams or those foams from the engineer but i think rafa's gonna go down to the round 11 camo rush or is that round 12 no that was round 12 camo rush with the whites gg my friend i will see you guys in the next one so we are back with the next opponent bat dummy definitely does not look like the greatest opponent of course it is cc so we're not going to get the greatest opponents but like i said earlier if you join bfb coliseum or my pit it is pretty freaking hectic because a lot of people just have really high tiered powers uh probably because they had xp boosters or whatever uh, so they got them really, really quickly. Uh, so it kind of sucks when somebody has a lot better powers than you um, because then they're just at a huge freaking advantage. A lot of people will refer to this as pay to win. And I see what they mean because they are buying, well, the people that do have all tier four um, powers did buy XP boosters. So there's like literally no way you would already have all tier four. Um, I mean, maybe if you just like constantly played, but it, it would be really, really rare. Um, but yeah, a lot of people refer to that as pay to win. Um, I see what they mean. Um, but yeah, it can be pretty annoying if you're in those, uh, lobbies. So we got the map water hazard. So I guess we're going to just have to play on this. Uh, we're going to be going with the boat boomer shroud, of course, because it is pretty good. I know I'm try harding against CC opponents. I probably shouldn't be, <laughs> uh, but whatever, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. Of course, we're going to start off with the farm and then we're going to be placing down our first buccaneer. And then we're going to also see what he has on his side. We're going to analyze what he has. Uh, but of course, let's get down a farmer as well. And let's start off with this. So it looks like he's going to be starting off with a Buccaneer. Uh, so I'm guessing he's maybe equine, but he also might be one of those guys that just likes to start down the tower first and then their farm next. So we're going to be trying. Oh, no, he already upgraded to the Grape Shot and the faster shooting. So he probably is equine, actually. Yes, he is indeed. So we're going to go for the more. We're going to go for the more bananas like we just did right there. And then we're going to get up the grape shot as soon as possible. And then we're probably going to have to get up either another Buccaneer or a faster shooting Buccaneer. And I think I'm just going to go with another Buccaneer because I know um, a faster shooting Buccaneer cannot defend against blue solo. So we're probably just going to go with the second Buccaneer. So we might as well just get it right now. And it kind of sucks with this because we can't really anti-stall on this map because you can't place any Buccaneers over here. It's just, it does... It it does not let you it just does not let you so when he be getting up another buccaneer there we go looking pretty good uh but of course our farms are going to slack uh because we have to have these defenses in order to defend against his eco which is unfortunate but it's all good so we're going to be upgrading to the next one zero farm as soon as we can which would be i mean will be in the next upcoming seconds yes there we go finally there we go and that's a terrible farm placement but i guess it can do okay it will do it's it's not the end of the world so we're probably going to be sending him some space blacks on his side on uh, this next up coming round just to force a few upgrades on his side because i know a single fast shooting uh buccaneer cannot defend against space blacks especially on a map like this uh so let's definitely send these and let's see how he reacts to us sending those so he's probably going to start off with some greens as well uh but it looks like so far so good on his side uh looks like he's going to start chasing here and he is and he set down a wizard but in a terrible position oh my god like i don't understand why he did that uh probably because he just wanted it to hit both sides but there he goes with a lightning upgrade as well so his ego is now freaking trash he has no money to send us eco either uh so we're in a really really good position right now so i'm hoping that we can kill this guy mid game but we gotta remember powers exist okay so he's probably using the glue most likely uh, so we might just have to carry this out a little bit further than expected which is fine i guess but that's just how you how you have to play with powers because most people can just because most people can just defend mid game with freaking ease i mean all you have to do is set down all the glues um and you'll be pretty good i mean <laughs> the towers will obviously clean up the glues won't do everything but the glues are very very powerful definitely there's no doubt about that so we're going to be going for the third plantation here as soon as we can get it and um yeah we should be able to get up maybe another farm i doubt it though because we're gonna have to get up some lead detection he already has lead detection on his side though uh so there's no need to send him a lead but it looks like he's actually preparing for round 
13. I mean, he could possibly have no powers. I mean, I doubt it because a lot of people, like almost every single person has the glue power. So I would, I would really doubt if he had uh, just the tax, but yeah, we're not gonna even test it because uh, I mean, maybe, maybe like rounds, I don't know, 13, 15, something like that. I'll send like a little bait rush just to see what he does. Uh, if there's a possible boost or whatever, but it looks like he's going to be sending us now some leads, uh, which is a good move, of course, by him. And there goes the camel lead as well. So we're going to have to set this bad boy on strong and then also get crow's nest on this. And uh, we should be good with those. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah, I think I'm going to send him a rush. Um, actually, we we could oh no here he goes with the ecoing so he's about to lose all of his money let's get up the bionic boomer as well so we don't die uh why are there so many camos okay we're definitely gonna be leaking down to about like 40 some lives which is fine though uh but he definitely just sent us a lot of freaking balloons so because of that we're gonna see what he has on his side we're not gonna be sending too big a rush just quite a bit of zebras whites over top and then uh, pinks, but it looks like he just boosted. So you know what that means guys We're probably just going to all out him after that one because he now has no boost and no freaking money So let's just do it boys. Yep, and there's no need to boost this because they're actually not gonna be boosted uh, But fuck it. So we're just gonna see what he has It looks like he's not sending down any glues yet So I'm gonna start sending regens behind these and I think bat dummy is gonna go down to the all-out round 15 rainbow rush I was sending regular rainbows right there too, just like I said before, because he might have pulled out the glue. He didn't really do anything uh, with his powers. He didn't set down any attacks or anything. So I'm not sure what he had, but still GG, my friend. I will see you guys in the last one. So we are back with the last opponent, Red Naxella, five, 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 five. Definitely does not look like the greatest opponent, okay? Me, me in the comments for always saying that. I literally always say that, I apologize. But we got the map Super Monkey Lane. And um, I'm fine with it, I guess. I mean, yeah, I'm fine with this map if he wants to play. I'm just going to go Dart Wizard once again, probably, because this is a map for Dart Wizard. Another chat you could probably go is Heli, but, dude, okay, I'm bull tricks, man. I don't use Heli. I don't use that scummy-ass tower. I'm kidding, okay? I, I wouldn't necessarily consider it scummy. Um, I think it's broken, but, I mean, it's part of the game, okay? So, if you do use it, then really people can't be saying anything too much. Um, if you use it in my tourneys, though, then I'll probably just ban it after you beat me with it, because I'm probably gonna get annoyed with it. <laughs> uh, but if it's just regular arenas, then, you know, you do you, I guess. I would respect someone more if they didn't go heli. I just, I, don't, I really don't like playing against heli. I feel like it's nearly unbeatable. I, you guys should let me know how you guys feel about Heli in the comment section below. If you guys feel like it is pretty fair of a tower, or if it's too OP, or if it needs a buff. I don't think anyone thinks it needs a buff. I would hope nobody thinks it needs a buff, because it definitely doesn't. Uh, but yeah, definitely let me know your opinions down in the comment section below. I just kind of threw that at you guys. But if you guys would like to share your opinions, definitely. Because I want to start replying and reading a lot more comments. Because I used to do that all the goddamn time. Now I really don't. And I want to start getting back into the groove of doing that. So we're going to be getting up our triple dart, of course. He has his plantation on his side. And it looks like he only has these spikes on his side, which is a good, good thing. Because now we know that he does not have the glue power. Which is amazing. Because the glue power can be really freaking annoying and wait did he boost he boosted our to our space pinks dude oh my god <laughs> oh my god okay so first of all his engineer spot is terrible it's really freaking bad i mean i guess it's good for group balloons because you can just get out the nine inch nails and it can do pretty good if you set it to last uh but besides that i don't think it's the greatest spot and it, he did actually upgrade to his next farm right there uh, so we're going to be def definitely sending him some space blacks on round six uh, to hopefully force another upgrade or some sort of some sort on his side, which I think space blacks should. But it looks like he's also sending us some space blacks. So I'm immediately going to upgrade uh, to this triple dart monkey because I don't want to be leaking unnecessary lives. I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling like I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't know. It's really weird because I say a lot that I don't care that I leak lives, but right there I feel like I would leak a lot of lives very, very quickly, and I just feel like that's really, really unnecessary because I don't need to upgrade. And it looks like he just boosted again. Wait, wait. Okay, no, he boosted like five seconds ago. I just didn't realize. And he also sold his wizard to upgrade his farm, but now he's just going to leak even more of these space flax, which is a good thing, of course. Hopefully we can get his final boost out of him, but I doubt it now because he has that lightning. So 
We forced the upgrade of the lightning though, which is a good thing. So I think I'm gonna go for this next farm here because if he does send yellows, we could probably set down a glue splat if we want to. Um, but I don't wanna be doing that. I don't wanna be wasting our glue splats on unnecessary things. Uh, let's get up the final plantation though because we're gonna have that we're gonna have that cheap lead popping power on round 10 with our wizard so that's a good thing so we can afford to upgrade to the next farm it looks like he's just preparing on his side he's scared that i'm gonna send him a rush but even though i'm i'm not okay i'm really not gonna be sending him a rush i'm just gonna focus on my farms uh for a little bit uh but we it looks like we could kill him mid game uh there's no doubt about that uh because his just his towers are not that good and he's not even using the balloon trap which he already should have a balloon trap of so i'm not too sure what he's doing with that uh, but I'm going to play it safe here because I'm so far ahead in farms and upgrade to the lightning. I'm also going to get a few zero zeros back here just in case as well. And I think, yeah, I need to monkey sets on this just so I can defend against uh, camo balloons. And if he does want to all out, of course, we can just fan club and it's going to be an easy, easy defend. Uh, but it looks like, oh, okay, yeah, here comes the all out. So all we got to do is fan club this and we should be a-okay. Yes, oh my god, that is a huge freaking all out. Holy moly, that was a pretty big all out. Holy crap. So we can just uh, all out him right back. So yeah, we're just going to do it because I know he's not going to be able to defend. Hopefully he doesn't have tack as a fourth because if he did, that would be pretty bad. But red, he didn't even try to boost that. He literally just accepted uh, his defeat right there. So GG, my friend, that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to drop a fat like on the video if you did enjoy. And if you have not already, make sure to click that subscribe button. I'm going to be uploading a lot more frequently uh, because the semester is almost over, which is the awesome, awesome thing. So I would really appreciate you guys if you did that. And also make sure to turn on your post notifications because YouTube hates me and does not notify you guys when I upload. So the last question I asked you guys in the last video was, What is my favorite flavor of Doritos? I know, really, really random, but I have a bag of Doritos in front of me. Uh, so if you just want to name like the color of the bag as well, that's fine. If you don't know like all the specific flavors, that's fine with me as well. So make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section, and you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I'm going to wrap the video up here, boys. It's been your boy, Bolt. Peace out, everybody.